In the last section, we finished putting together our Travis.yaml file. We're now ready to commit all the changes we've made and push them up to GitHub. As soon as we push up these changes, Travis should kick into gear and attempt to pull down our code, build the image, test it, and then report back to us. So all we have to do is commit the changes that we made locally, push them up to GitHub, and Travis should essentially take it from there. So I'm gonna flip on over to my terminal, and I'm gonna first commit all the changes I just made by running git add dot, and then git commit dash m added Travis file inside of the double quotes like so. So that's gonna create a new git, git commit. We can now push that up to GitHub with git push origin master, like so. So we'll run that. And as far as we are concerned, that is pretty much it. Now Travis is going to take it from here. So we can flip on over to our browser and open up Travis CI and find the project that you added on the left-hand side. Again, at some point in the future, Travis CI is going to redesign their UI. So you might see something that looks a little bit different than I. Essentially, you just want to find a repository. So now if you do not immediately see the build pop up, that is totally fine. You can try doing a quick refresh and hopefully something like this will appear if everything correctly got wired up. So inside of here, you can see the output from our build. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see job log and you'll get a printout right here of all the different logs that are coming from the build that we're trying to put together. So in a moment or two, oh, there's a good one right there. So it's sudo service docker start. That is Travis adding support for Docker to our build. You'll then see our container being built. So right there, Docker build. We're building the image. There's the NPM install. If you see those NPM warnings, again, totally fine to ignore those, no big deal. And I think we'll, I'm just gonna hold around for just a second. If you don't wanna watch this with me, feel free to pause to the next video, but I'm gonna show you what I see just so you can verify that your build is being done correctly. Again, if you wanna skip this, totally fine. Okay, I was hoping it would go a little bit faster than this. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's take a quick pause. We'll come back to the next section and, oh, wait, oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, post install, yeah, this is good. Okay, we'll just sit because that's pretty much it. That was the one big pause we got. So it's now done with the entire NPM install. So the next thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna do that copy. The copy happened, it was very quick there, and then it went on to the next series of actions, which was to run our test suite. Our one test passed, we printed out the coverage report, and then we got the output here, which is the command exited with zero, which we will recall a status code of zero means everything ran successfully. And so Travis CI is going to interpret this as a successful build. And in fact, if you scroll back up, you should see everything in green like so. If this stuff is not green, you should be able to just refresh the page and it should be green once you come back to it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We now have a pipeline in place to automatically watch our GitHub repository for changes, pull down our source code, run those tests, and then report back to us and tell us whether or not everything went A-OK. -okay. So this is looking pretty sweet. Let's take a quick pause right here and we'll continue in the next section.